Hello, and welcome to another jazz session. So, we're going to be continuing with Tales of Berseria today. But first things first, expedition. Right. Take a look at this. Huh? Oh. Hey, two out of three. <laughs> Nothing new. Huh? Okay. All right. Scout so ship setting back. sail. Alrighty, so let's just dig right back into it. We've got the sickness of the uh, scourge, the Corsair scourge, if I remember how it's pronounced. In real life, it's actually been a couple days since I've played the game. I think it's the Corsair Surge. Or a scourge, whatever it's called, but yeah, I'm just gonna sh shut up. When I was in Port Zexen, I heard that a swarm of demons attacked the palace and killed the high priest. No way! Isn't the palace the most heavily guarded place in the world? How did the exorcist let that happen? Hmm, bad news really does travel fast. They say that the demons were disguised as humans, but were actually enormous monsters twice the size of any man. They had razor-sharp horns and three burning eyes. They could take over your mind just by glaring at you. If the demons were that terrible, no wonder the exorcist couldn't deal with them. Some rumors say they escaped. Some say a legate took them down in a climactic battle. But no one knows the truth. We should be ready to run in case they show up. Is the world falling apart? Will the bad times return again? A horned giant with three eyes, huh? Velvet, you're one scary lady. They said swarm. So they were talking about you, too. Well, it's a good thing with that description. I don't think they'll ever find us. I know I'm repeating myself, but that's just not possible. But the high priest hasn't been seen since then. How do you explain that? I heard some people from the capital say that he might have been attacked by demons. The Abbey's trying to cover it up, but the truth is getting out. The security at the palace is better than anywhere else. Demons breaking in? Inconceivable. But what if a whole horde assailed the castle? The exorcists guarding the palace are elite. The best of the best. Horde or not, they couldn't have gotten in. But what if they were some sort of giant demons? No matter how elite the guards may be, they'd have trouble against something like that. If giant demons appeared in the capital, there'd be an uproar. I understand your concerns, but please remain calm and trust us. Panic and confusion is just what the demons want. They'll use it to slip into this very town. Like that. Well, we know that, but still. It looks like rumors from the capital are spreading. The more chaos there is here, the easier it'll be for us to move around. Yes. Left sweat bags. Hello there. How can I help you today? We're looking for Salatoma flowers. Well now, that's an order I don't get every day. It's not for the Corsair's scourge by any chance. The very same. Some of our crew developed fever three days ago. I want to take care of it as quickly as possible. Understandable, but unfortunately, I'm out of stock right now. How can you be out of stock? The flower's in season, isn't it? It is, but not too long ago, a demon appeared in Warg Forest, where we harvested. And now the Abbey won't let anyone inside. They what? Why haven't they exterminated the demon? From what little I've heard, they've had trouble tracking the thing. A hundred people go in, maybe only one will actually come across the beast. If it's so rare, then what's the danger? Because nobody who's encountered it has come back alive. First the Corsair Scourge, then no medicine, the Abbey, and a mysterious demon. Never a dull moment with the Reaper's curse, eh? Well, I could try to order some <laughs> from other towns, but if you're already on day three, it might not make it in time. But if we go to the Warg Forest, the Solitoma will be in bloom, correct? Right, but the demon... We're going to the forest. All right, then. Well, on that note, I'm going to do some inventory stuff, so just bear with me while I do this. Actually, you won't have to bear with me because it'll just be a skip forward. 
like that. All right. So did all that jazz. Didn't really do too much actually. It was a waste of time. A big flippin' waste of time. All right. So let us set out. Big guy, what you got? Oh, yeah. Everyone attack! Here I come! Hey, yeah, everyone, do what you've been doing like the whole game. Not bad. You too. You guys can like compliment each other like for real. Luffy said, what's the Reaper's curse Magilu was talking about? Supposedly, Aizen's presence has the power to bring misfortune to the people around him. Is that some sort of special Moloch power or something? It's worse than mere misfortune. At Vortigern, there was a sudden mass outbreak of demon blight, and many of his fellow crew died on his watch. I find that a little hard to believe, honestly. The Reaper's curse is all too real! It was the Reaper's curse that tore me from you and got me captured by Miss Mogilu! Oh, is... is that so? I missed you so much! The hazy halcyon days when I would blow on your cheeks to make your tears dry up! Hey, that's not... It must be destiny that we've been reunited! How I wish I could return to your side once more! Do what you want, I don't care. Really? I won't stop you. Maybe she wants a Moloch who freely divulges a young girl's secrets. I'm fine, thank you very much. I've already got Loppy set to look after as it is. Aw, no fair! Is he the one who blows on your tears now when you cry? He most certainly does not. And as of right now, you're a stranger to me. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> What? Just so we're clear, Lafayette will do no blowing on any cheeks. Of course not! Uh, I mean, not that it ever happened in the first place anyway. <sighs> Just forget it! <sighs> Yet another victim of the Reaper's curse! <sighs> no, just a victim of the little pervert BM food. Stuff like happens that can only be because of <laughs> 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 
He's going down. Or so that is much <laughs> Be proud. You made me unleash my full power. I can't say anything though. I used one during the battle. get over to it. Eleanor, are you feeling all right? Yes, for now at least. I'm glad for that. But please remember, the Reaper's curse is no joke. Is Isen's curse even real? I'm having trouble believing in it. You never know. Talk like that might give you a stomach ache, or a blister, or a bug might fly into your mouth. A bug? Miss Muggy Lou, please stop making up things just to scare Madame Eleanor. Like when you said that four Navy warships tried to detain the Von Eltia and disappeared without a trace. Or that Eisen made a stopover on an island and the men there caught Demon Blight. Or that a man bumped into his shoulder and started laughing and died from suffocation. Please stop. That's even more frightening. That's a pack of lies. <laughs> it was seven warships. Everyone on the island, not just men, caught demon blight. And the guy who bumped into me died from hiccups. <laughs> Hold me. But as far as the Corsair's scourge goes, you don't need to worry. Just drink the Solitoma juice and you'll be fine. Assuming they're in bloom. Yeah, there is that. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this. If they're not, the game's gonna be a lot shorter. That's how we get over to it. Alright, Code Red Demon. Let's see what you got. Are we ready for this? Oh, 
Right there. there. It was go. a close one, but I am the. Oh, I actually got experience from it. Interesting. I think that's the first one I've gotten experience from. That's just, uh, memory serves to write. That's the uh, first one I get experience from. Speed up. Behind. Mm, okay. That was rude. This must be the Warg Forest. We need to be careful. There may well be exorcists around. Oh my god, it's a cross. There must be an exorcist. This is a dual layered barrier. It's the Abbey's new invention. So it's two barriers working in tandem then. That sure sounds like a hell of a lot of trouble just to stop people from coming in. It really does. Okay. I see what's going on. Tails. Tails again, huh? That Reaper's curse of yours is consistent, if nothing else. The curse even affects coin flips? Seems that way. A Moloch's powers affect physical objects and can, at times, even synchronize with their wavelengths. And in your case, it's that coin? Yeah. That's why it always comes up tails. You must forgive my skepticism. Whether you choose to believe it or not is really up to you. It might be worth noting that coin is also Aizen's vessel. So is that wavelength business the reason why Lafayette always has that compass around him? That's part of it. But in another sense, it's a kind of proof of his manhood. Proof of his... manhood? Must polish you so you don't rust. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. For a Praetor, you really don't know that much about the world, do you? Ugh. Alright, 
so. Uh oh. Ah, run away. Alright, so. I'm gonna view this skit. And then we're gonna cut it. Here. Until our next jazz session of Tales of Berseria. Thanks a lot for watching. Abby needs to know about this. I'll have to investigate further. A coin that always comes up tails. Can a Moloch's influence extend so far? I see you're a woman of deep skepticism. I know it's hard to believe, but Aizen's coin really does only come up tails. Wait a minute. Are you using some sort of trick on it, Mogilu? Oh, your gaze falls on me then? Well, I am a woman of deep skepticism. And one who holds grudges, too, apparently. But no, I don't have anything to do with it. In fact, I tried a little spell to make it come up heads, and it wouldn't take hold. The coin's not gimmicked. There's no trick. See for yourself, if you like. <gasps> this is... the Demon Lord Douse. Good eye. It's from Carl... It's from Carlin! I've never seen an authentic specimen! It's incredibly ancient, and yet it looks freshly minted. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Gold is normally soft, but they found a way to heart. I know! They cover the surface of a softer metal with a heat reactor shaped memory alloy! That's what makes it hard to scratch. Uh, right. It's a technique no one alive can duplicate, and it makes any trickery impossible. I might just have to believe in this curse of yours after all. I thought you said they had made the surface itself harder, not covered it with something else. I think you're mistaken. No, I swear you said... Let's just leave it at that. Okay. Shape memory alloy. Hmm. That's how they did it. <laughs>